Now from here, you're simply going to change the position of your hands. The left hand is going to turn up, and the right hand is going to turn down. By the way, there are five levels of doing this form. Not different, just like different ways of doing it. All the movements are the same, but there are just different, more advanced ways of doing it. This is the second way. I feel that people are, are intelligent enough to take the second way of doing the Taiji form. The first way is just really, it's like up or doing all the wrong things. Down, out, across. So it's really, really basic, but I think you can take it straight on to the second level. So the movements become a little bit more advanced as you, as you progress through the levels. Now from here, your left hand turns up and your right hand turns down. See how they've changed state. A change of state is either from this to this or this back to this. Your right hand will change to a yang-shaped hand while your left hand changes to a yin-shaped hand. Now this, this is what not to do. You mustn't move your hands. This is what the, most people tend to do. They move their hands like this. They rotate the hands. You leave your left hand exactly where it is and simply do that. You leave your right hand exactly where it is and simply do that. That's a nothing breath. If you brought your hands together, the left hand could fit nicely inside of the right, right hand through the through the, the dragon mouth point again, like like so. And they're both on this flat plane here, so they're not like this or like this. They're both on this flat sort of a 45 degree plane going down to the ground. So that's your out breath. This is a nothing breath. Now you're going to do a movement called roll back or sit back. You simply drop your hands like this. That's all you're going to do. But remember, not to lose the width, the fist distance under each axilla. All you're going to do, I'll do it to the front just to show you. You're going to turn your hands over, and you're simply going to drop them like that to just above your hip. Now again, it looks like your arms are doing a pull backwards, but it's not. It's the body. It's an illusion. It's the body doing the movements for you. So left hand up, right hand down. Sit back onto your back leg and turn your hips and your waist 45 degrees to the left to point into the north northeast corner. Sit back, your hands drop down. Breathe in. It looks as if the hands have pulled. They've just come down though, but it's the body doing the work for you. Now you rotate your left hand, keeping those relative shapes, yang and yin, and place your left mounts, here are the mounts here, just on top of your right wrist, just here. But mounts go there. Now as you bring your weight back to the east again onto your front leg, you release, you change state. See how the hands will change state? Both hands will change state together here. So you're doing a strike bah, to the front. So you bring it up in the same arc that it came down. Don't go like this, or a lot of people do this. They bring it up and then push. That's incorrect. Everything in Taiji is spirals. So you turn back to the east and slowly release both palms to chest height. They're pointing straight upwards. It's not like this. The palm is placed on the hand. Now, the correct position, placing of this hand is such. Just here, there's a little hard bony area here. And here, that's a weapon that we use in the martial art of Taiji. You place those both together and you get your left hand then going a little bit across your hand. If you put it too much across your hand, you'll damage these little bones, fine bones across the back of the hand when you actually do the martial application. Or if you put it across your right across your wrist, you will, by the same token, you'll damage your wrist. It must be just a little bit across your palm and a little bit across your wrist, like this. And breathe out.